they quit producing units that took the R22 Freon in 2010. And they're actually, um, throughout, you know, until 2015, they're going to start cutting production. Now, they've already cut production by an excellent amount, and I think the numbers last time I heard were 97 percent reduction of the production of the R22 by 2015. But what we're up against um, when they, they start to reduce the amount of Freon that they're making and everybody starts buying it up, the market goes crazy. And for a homeowner has got to consider they're, they're also competing against companies that are in downtown Dallas that have systems that are a half of a million dollars that take that type of Freon. So everybody wants as much of that as they can get and it's caused the price to go up significantly. But I think in the next, um, in the next few years, it's, it's definitely going to be a good time to switch over to the new Freon. Okay. What's so, what's so bad about, about R22? You know, the R22 is a, it's chemical composition. It's actually a hydrofluorine chlorine carbon. So it has, a, it has the, um, the chlorine molecule actually is, is allegedly eats the ozone up. So it's, it's harmful to the planet. And the new style of Freon, um, it's actually an HFC. So it's a hydrofluorine uh, uh, carbon. So that they've pretty much taken the chlorine out of it all altogether. 